When loading a save on Saints of Virtue on DOSBox, you may encounter a crash every time you load. While I do not know how to fix this, I do know a workaround that will allow you to play. I noticed that you could load in between levels without a problem. As long as you are on level 2, you can load to a save in level 2 as long without crashing. So if you want to play through this game, you're going to have to utilize all of your save slots. So play through the first level and save as needed. If you need to quit or you crash or need to load your previous save, simply start a new game and load to that save. To get to the following level, you will need to save right at the end of the subsequent level. Uh, let me show you an example of this. So you start a new game, and I always start on the difficulty that I'm playing on, so super easy, of course. I'll let the game audio is not too loud. So you would play through this level, and then you would make a save right at the end when you finish everything. So you would have, like I have level one empty, you would crouch down. Complete the level. Now you can play level two. After you finish level two and you get to the final pillar, of the of the uh, ruins of pride, you would save. So I have a save here at the pillar, and then you would then you would crack it. All a man's days seem right to him, but the Lord weighs the heart. And now you have level three. So this will this will allow you to play all the different levels in the game. Yeet. And there's the final level. So you're going to have to do the final step each, uh, for each level each time you want to reload, but at least you won't have to recomplete each level completely each time you want to replay a certain level. So in this particular section, um, one, one, one issue may, you may run into the game is you find that you can't get across certain sections because your player either jumps too high, like that's an insane jump height. It basically jumps to the, the top of the box in the map, or you take too much damage, like here at the poison pond in the fourth level. And so why this is, at least in my best guess, is because the way you take damage in the game is tied to the frame rate, because our current computers run the game a lot faster than the computers in 1999 ran it. And so to encounter this, I don't know how you would fix this if you have a version of the game that does not run on DOSBox. I think the best bet there would be to use a program like Fram, uh, Fraps to uh, limit the frame rate. But um, DOSBox actually has the ability built right into it. So what I've found is, and you're going to see the screen get really small here, press Alt-Enter while you're playing the game, um, and that'll put it into windowed mode. Then you can press control. It's actually best if you pause it so you don't waste your ammo. Then you can press control and then press S F11 um, to cycle down the CPU speed. And you're going to want to take that down to about 5%. Um, and that will make the game run really, really laggy. So we're here at 5% right now. 
and let me bring that back to full screen. You can see just how how framey that gets. But uh, that's about the only way that you can really get across here as intended, unless you just have a potato computer. So you'll see as I jump here in the water, I'm taking damage at a much less uh, high speed, and I'll show you what it looks like here. Um, let me get back into normal CPU cycle. So this is at 100%, and this is what your health will look like. As you can see there, it goes down almost instantly. So uh, areas in the game where uh, you're impacted by this, I think, is at the poison pond here, the garbage dump uh, where the walls move in, and the uh, oh, the quicksand in the uh, the swamps of selfishness as well, as well as the ruins of pride. There is a um, there is a boulder that you have to push off the top of the hill, and then you have to jump across this chasm. Well, you're not going to be able to make the jump across there without limiting your frame rate, and if you push the boulder off the top of the hill, it just falls to the ground and doesn't knock over the pillars. So that can all be fixed by changing the CPU cycles if you use DOSBox. Um, there is also an issue on the second level where in the, the trap dungeon, the walls can move in too quickly. And um, you can change your frame rate for that, though you can be quick enough to just get out of the way since uh, you don't have to make it all the way through the hallways to avoid those walls. But I think that's everything in the game that is affected by frame rate. Your jumps will be affected, so it may, may feel like cheating. Um, but at this point, it's it's not really about the... Are, are, do you have enough uh, gamer points to get through the the game? It's just you, you know you're playing this for mostly nostalgia's sake, I'm assuming, or just to experience how bizarre the game is. So I think that's about it as far as this issue goes.